glass falling from the sky. That's what happened to a Sarasota woman as she drove her son to the hospital. It turns out a county streetlight gave way at the exact moment Angie Hall drove under it. And now, get this, the county says she's on her own to pay for the damages. That's when she knew she'd better call Bankin. And investigator Shannon Bankin joins me now. This story is baffling to me. It's really scary. And first off, I just want to say this woman and her son and anyone else that was around her, they're really lucky that they weren't hurt because this could sure. have been a very bad situation. When the glass fell, it dinged up her hood and her windshield and gave her quite a scare. But Sarasota's legal team, they're holding firm. They insist the county is not responsible. It's probably our tax dollars that are paying for it. Angie Hall was driving along Cattleman Road in Sarasota when it started raining glass. Bam! It looked like a hailstorm had just hit me. Glass from this street light fell. Starts right here. Leaving Angie's hood and windshield dinged up. She called the county. So when they told you to get estimates, it was your understanding that meant they were going to fix your car. Well, when somebody asks for estimates, that's what you would naturally assume, yeah. She sent in two estimates, one for $1,249, the other $2,049. But the county changed its mind and had a theory, pointing the blame somewhere else. An unknown party shot the light fixture, causing glass debris. Well, Angie just happens to be an experienced shooter and says there's no way the flat glass was shot out. She asked for proof, and there was none. No casing, no bullet holes. So you knew that there's no way that someone could have done this unless they were standing right underneath of it. Right. And then you would have seen this, them. The story was fabricated. Who knows, but in the county's view, the reason doesn't matter. Officials point to a Florida law that gives government a legal shield to hide behind. A county spokesman tells me there's no evidence of negligence. According to the statute, Angie would have to prove the county knew of a problem and ignored it. I pressed the spokesman for answers. So a streetlight can fall on a car, cause $2,000 worth of damage, and she's just out of luck. Does that sound right to you? In the end, the county is unconcerned. But doesn't this just sound like a bunch of excuses, though? I mean, first it was shot, then, okay, it wasn't shot, but there's no negligence. I called around to check out this legal defense, and it is true. Sarasota County can force the victim to prove negligent negligence, but attorneys that I spoke with said that they thought the county should just pay the claim. As they called it, it's just the right thing to do. Okay, so this law that they are pointing to, it doesn't keep them from paying. They could pay if they wanted to. That's what all of this boils down to. They could pay if they want to, and if she had an attorney, if someone was hurt, she would have an attorney. This would be a much different situation, and they would have to pay. Sure, she can go after her insurance company and, and file a claim, but she's going to have to pay a big deductible, and she shouldn't have to because it just wasn't her fault. This could happen to any of us. That is so interesting. Right. There will be a follow-up on there this. There will I be, bet. and I'm hoping somebody who can make a decision here will see this and do the right thing. All right. Thank Thank you, Shannon. If you have a problem that needs solving, better call Bankin. The number is 1-855-BANKIN.